so yesterday installed a tankless water heater here at my house uh, didn't get a chance to run the power for it need to run 120 volt circuit it took a little bit longer than I had uh, originally thought yesterday so um, gonna run the power today like I said it's uh, easy I'm a, uh, actually a licensed master electrician haven't done it in, in a couple of years I've got some uh, back issues uh, which prevent me from you know like crawling under houses and stuff and um, so but uh, you know like riding a bike easy done it countless times just running a circuit from the panel uh, mounting a receptacle outside to plug the water heater in so it'll be easy um, so let's get to it all right so I already removed the panel cover uh, in the kitchen um, you know if, if you're doing this at home you want to try this at home I would highly recommend uh, turning the power off I'm gonna what Teddy Teddy, you say something whatever okay um, I would highly recommend that you turn the power off uh, it's a safe way to do it. You know, we've exposed bus bars here and, and down there. Uh, I'm going to leave the power on. You know, like I said, I've done this a lot, so um, not really worried about it. And um, so we got to get a wire into there. Um, and looks like somebody in the past has done the same thing, and they installed a little box down there. So uh, got to get through the floor, you know, up the wall, down through the floor. Um, please don't scratch on that. I would thank you. Um, so, um, yeah, that's going to be my access point. Broom, right up to there, under the house, outside, bada bing, done. All right, let's do it. You want some treats? All right, so I kind of lucked out here. That box that's below the breaker panel, um, it's got a wire in it, which is really cool. So, um, I might be able to use that. I'm pretty sure it just runs up to the panel. I just have to identify it up there. Um, I already checked the wire with my induction tester, which is this cool thing. You just um, push this thing and you hold it to the wire and it senses the um, uh, magnetic field around the wire. And if it's hot, it goes, lights up. If not, like this, see, nothing means it's dead. So um, we got a little exposed wire. I'm gonna have to replace this wire nut here because uh, you know, it's exposed. Ow, oh, son of a brick! Damn. Okay, uh, make sure make sure your batteries are good in your induction tester. First, um, yeah. Yeah, the battery's dead. Make sure your battery's good in your in your tester before um, touching any wires. All right, I'm gonna get. I gotta uh, change the battery out. All right, so this is working out really well. Um, the that box, um, I don't know where that wire went. So, um, uh, so I have fished a new wire um, down through the panel. Uh, it goes down the wall. It goes through the wall here. I don't know if you can see inside there that the wire right here. Um, yeah, you're not gonna get me again, you son of a. Um, right here, that's the uh, that's the new one. Um, it runs down, and there was a hole down there that I pushed where another wire went through. So it's already under the house. So all I gotta do yet is just crawl into the house, um, staple it up, mount the box, put the receptacle in. Done. Easy, man. Easy, just like it should be. All right, so I'm getting ready to crawl into the house through this little hole here. Uh, Teddy's already in, of course. I'm just going to go in. I got some staples. I got my hammer. Uh, I'm just going to go in and staple up the wire. It's going to come out right here. Um, and I'll mount the receptacle right over here. Um, so here we go. All right, so we're under the house. <coughs> and, uh, so where the wires come down from the panel, a bunch of copper pipe. Copper pipe and wiring do not mix very well. Um, so you got to make sure that there's no exposed wires. So I'm just going to staple up. This is our new wire right here. And this is, uh, looks like some old asbestos siding. Don't mess with that stuff. It causes cancer. 
and stuff. If you, you know, if you breathe it in and stuff, just don't touch it. Just, you know, if it's broken, just leave it alone. Don't, don't mess with it. Um, nasty. Hey, check this out. Look what I found under here. He's out. He must have been under this mat. I'm glad I didn't squish him. Ribbit. Toady toad. Whoa. Come on, crap. Where are you? Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Hey, toad. I told you not to come under here. Yeah. I told you. Anyways, I got the wire stapled up. Kind of hard to see. Now I'm going to crawl back out. And uh, mount the receptacle. All right, getting ready to install. I got the box mounted. Uh, getting ready to install this GFCI receptacle, GFCI ground fault circuit interrupter. These are the suckers that uh, you won't get a shock off of. Um, and they sense a difference in potential between the uh, the hot and the gr uh, neutral. It's not really neutral. It's uh, Anyway, I won't get technical. But anyway, uh, when it senses a differential between there due to a uh, high amperage, it out automatically shuts off. So you don't get a shock. Teddy, would you please go away? I'm trying to make a film. You're so annoying. All right, so I'm gonna stick this in, put the cover on, and then uh, land it in the panel, and we'll be done. Okay. All right, receptacle is mounted. Uh, I got the cord plugged in. This is what you call a in-use cover plate. So the cord can be plugged in and the cover is fully closed um, to make it uh, waterproof. Um, so, and the wire. All right, so we're at the last step here. Um, got the wires up into the panel. You just wanna be real careful at this point working in a, a live panel, lots of empty bus bars and stuff. Be, the white and the ground are going to go up top here into this area, and this black wire, I got a spare circuit right here. I'm going to put it right on that screen. Ah! Son of a bitch! Whew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy Christ. Um. All right, so the panel covers uh, back on, power's on. Let's go see if the receptacle works. Uh, let's see. Oh, how do you get this thing open? Um. Oh. Yeah. Reset and. Uh, uh, yeah, it's working. See the little lights in there? Uh, it's working. Um, I'm done. That job is done. Um, so that's how you install a receptacle for... Uh, what's that for? Water heater. It's for the water heater. And... Um, I'm not feeling too good. I think I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go have a seat.